Hey, what's up everybody? I hope you are all fine. In last few days, we have heard a lot of rumors regarding PLAP2 exam. There are a lot of rumors regarding the type of this station, regarding the length of this station and the modality of the exam itself. Keeping those rumors aside, let's enter into one of the important topic today, disclosing cancer diagnosis. Now you all know that in PLAP2, your skills will be tested at the level of FY2. One of the important skills of a FY2 doctor is to also effectively communicate the diagnosis of cancer. And I have seen in one-on-one -on -one mock, a lot of candidates struggling to effectively communicate the diagnosis of cancer to the patient. So let's discuss this, disclosing the cancer diagnosis. Okay, let's take this as an example. In this station, you are a junior doctor working in general practice. Your patient is a 55-year-old male. His name is Jakov. And his presenting complaint is cough and hemoptysis. You have to talk to this patient, assess the condition, and discuss the initial plan of management. And the special note that is given to you is that x-ray is inside the cubicle. That means you also have to read an x-ray inside the cubicle. So let's see how this station goes. I don't want to go into each and every detail. I just want to tell the gist because today I want to solely focus on the disclosure of cancer diagnosis. Here what has happened is a patient is presenting with a recurrent symptom of coughing up of blood. This has happened already two to three times since last three weeks the amount of blood in the sputum is increasing it is red in color bright red in color the cough is also there for last three to four months along with shortness of breath but then you found few red flag symptoms like weight loss loss of appetite and sometime even the change in the appearance of the nil when you ask about the weight loss it's one stone of weight loss in last one month and it's unintentional when you see your plan that you want to examine this patient and you want to check his vitals, general physical examination, and also his chest, the examiner will give you the finding that there is a clubbing or a nicotine stain on his fingers, there is fullness on supraclavicular area, and there is a decrease in breath sound on right side. You'll also talk about investigations, you'll talk about routine blood and chest x-ray, and you'll be given a chest x-ray in which there is a pleural effusion in right lung, and as well as a rounded opacity on the top of the right lung in the upper zone. So this is a station in which diagnosis can be serious. We are not yet sure, but the diagnosis can be serious. That means this is the station in which you have to disclose about the cancer diagnosis. So how to communicate it? So first thing on the management part is to disclose the diagnosis. Now how to disclose? You can't say this is a cancer. Okay, most of the mistake is done here itself. You are a junior doctor. Till now you have done at least five or six minutes of a clinical consultation and you can't be that much brilliant to diagnose a cancer after six minutes of clinical consultation given your level of FY2. That's why a communication of cancer diagnosis has to be done very, very nicely. So the disclosure. In the disclosure, you will say, based on the little chat we had and from whatever we have done, I think there is some problem in your lungs. As simple as that. Okay, so you will say, based on the little chat we had and from whatever we have done till now, I think you have some problem in the lungs. Now, the next step is to explain what exactly you are trying to say. And that is what I call layering for cancer. Now, what happens in this station is there can be two different scenarios. Once you say that there is some problem in your lungs, then there can be two different scenarios. One is the easy scenario. I will tell you what is easy scenario. And the other one is a difficult scenario. I'll also let you know what exactly is the difficult scenario. So let's discuss this scenario number one. So let's repeat once again. Well, Mr. Jacob, so far from the little chat we had and from whatever we have done, I think there is some problem in your lungs. He will reply, Doctor, is it a cancer? Your next question will be to ask the concern. Well, may I know why do you think so? And then he will say, Doctor, you know my friend had a similar problem. He was coughing up blood and later on he was diagnosed with cancer. When you will say, well, I now understand where you are coming from. I'm very sorry about the diagnosis of your friend. But then let me tell you that cancer is one of the possibility in your case as well. And that's why we want to investigate it further by referring you to the concerned department. So you explain the plan. So this is one scenario in which the patient himself is using that word cancer. The word cancer is not coming from you, but from the patient. This is a easy scenario. The difficult one. In the difficult one, once you say that we are suspecting some problem in your lungs, the patient will say, doctor, what do you think it can be? 
Then you will say, well, Mr. Jacob, in your case, we did a chest x-ray. In the chest x-ray, we found a shadow that sits on the top of your right lung, as well as the collection of the fluid on your right lung. Now, when it comes to the shadows like this, there can be many different causes. In the best case scenario, it can just be an infection which we are not worried much, as we can treat it easily. However, what we are trying to do is we are trying to rule out what we call the worst case scenario. Because in the worst case scenario, shadow can mean sometimes potential mass. Masses can be tumor. Tumor can sometimes be cancer. Now see, I have done a little bit of layering before I use the word cancer. Here, my job was easy because the patient himself used the word cancer. This is about the disclosure. Now, things does not end here. You have to tell the further plan. You will say, we need to refer you to a specialist for further test. Doctor, what will the specialist do to me? You will say, the specialist will consider tapping the fluid out and send for further test. They might also require to take some sample of the tissue and consider the advanced imaging like CT scan of the chest. Now, you'll also say something regarding the referral plan itself. Generally, when you will see a specialist, it will take four to six weeks time from the general route. But in your case, we want to fast track your referral so that you can see a specialist within two weeks time. Things does not end here. You have to say, if you don't hear back from us in next one week or so, please give us a call so that we can chase that shoe. Likewise, you'll also give some plan regarding the safety netting for the next two weeks. You will say, in the meantime, if you happen to develop any confusion, difficulty in swallowing, headache, facial or arm swelling, or dilatation of the neck veins, or abnormal breathing sound, then please call 999 or go to the a &E as soon as possible. Here you are talking about superior vena cava obstruction as an oncological emergency. Now things does not end here as well. You have to keep the open link of communication. The patient whose diagnosis is cancer will have a lot of questions in their mind. Even though they are not asking now, they might have those questions when they go back home. So you will say, I'm sure you will develop a lot of questions in your mind after this. So if you want to talk to one of us, then please give us a call. So keeping the open link of communication is also necessary. So that's how you disclose the diagnosis. The strategy is to disclose in simple language as possible by saying that there is some problem in the lung and you explain what exactly is the problem according to the patient's reaction to the problem. Then you talk about the fast tracking referral, cancer referral, two week referral plan. And you'll also give some of the advices for that next two weeks. And finally, you'll also keep the open link of communication. This is how you disclose the cancer as a FY2 doctor in PLAP2 exam. For more tips like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.